that's pretty much it. We're actually vlogging right now, so. All right, so first thing in the morning, uh, I'm at the gym now. Well, I'm in my car, but I'm at the gym. Uh, I go through social media. I check uh, kind of the activity from the day before. So uh, that's basically my morning is I go through, uh, I check everything, uh, messages that you guys send, uh, questions, um, and just our posts from the day before. I go into the gym for a very little bit of time. Um, and then this is Tuesday, so then I head to film uh, my podcast, The Matt Beck Show. Uh, so we'll be doing that in a little bit. So I'm going to get in the gym, uh, and then we're going to head down and do that. All right, so finished the workout. Now headed to get ready for the show. All right, so we're at the salon. I'm gonna film the podcast. I saw an extra person in there. Oh, look, check it out. What's up, fellas? Hi. What's good? Nothing, you know. Vlogging. Vlogging? Vlogging? Yeah. Vloggers. Hello, vloggers. Yeah. Justin's here. That's why you asked me if I was... Yeah, because instead of picking the truck up late, I picked it up at 8.30 this morning and woke up really early and wanted to kill myself. Oh. <laughs> wanted to kill myself. Yep. That's wanted how we end it all. That's how we forward. start our day. It's cold in here. That's why yeah, we don't drink. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh, and by the way, um, totally cut my own hair yesterday. Jacked it up. I was going to say, cut your hair. Yeah, me. I did. So, I may need some uh, hair assistance after this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna okay. Well, and you have a cancellation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually called and canceled your guest <laughs> so I can get a haircut. I am the new Beck. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to episode 22 of the Matt Beck Show. I actually have two fantastic gentleman with me today. Uh, no, no, we're on 22. I know. Crazy. I know. We're, f we're flying through the year. Uh, so we have some great questions. Thank you guys so much for submitting those. Um, we're going to go down the list. Uh, if you want to submit a question, go to Instagram or Twitter or below in the comments or call my house. It doesn't matter. Um, Ask a question using the hashtag the Matt Beck Show. Uh, let's get started. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next show. Oh well. Uh. Really? You had to put this song on, Thad? It's what was on. I just hit play. <laughs> yeah, right. I saw you select it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Girls just want to have fun, Thad. It's true. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just set up a, let's do a schedule so that we're being consistent. Let's make sure that we're doing, you know, a post from me and a post from Denise, you know, every week. And that, that should be fine. And then, and then we'll go through and uh, um, we'll see how that works out. And then we can go from there. But I think that'll, I think that'll be a good start for sure. What are you doing right now? Making a hot house. I lay out the towels and individually put a little bit of uh, one of our shampoos onto the hot towel so it gives a nice fragrance while it's around our guys' faces. Then we're going to take them over to the shampoo bowl and get the water nice and hot. And then we put them into our Minerva hot cabbie, which also sanitizes. Take them down. Pull the towel over. Roll it up, wring it out. As you wring it out, it pushes the shampoo through the towel. So that way it ensures that there is an even distribution through a fragrance throughout the towel. And what we do is we count out the, um, the amount of guys that we have for the day and then we 
make that many towels, maybe a couple extra that we do plus a couple. But it's a great service upgrade and that's you know the key because every salon does a haircut uh, on a guy. Um, this is a little bit extra to offer. Um, and to be honest, uh, big, huge chain salons are already doing hot towels. So if your salon's not doing them, um, you're behind the game. So make sure that you're doing it. Pick up some honeys. <laughs> all the honeys. You we, guys look good in that minivan. Yeah. <laughs> By honeys, I mean all of Thad's kids now because he's got a girlfriend. So I had a question on the on my podcast this morning, and it was about um, using social media to help market yourself as a stylist um, and salon. Uh, and I've been talking about this for a while, but I think the biggest thing that you can do to grow your business on social media, especially a salon, is just be willing to put in the time to focus on your clients and communicate with them through social media. Like, I think a lot of people, um, you know, they like having a Facebook, they like having an Instagram, they like getting likes, they like people commenting, but they they don't like taking the time to comment back. And I think that's, that's the biggest thing. That's the whole reason for the platform is to be social and too many people use it as just a post and get likes thing and not a actual communication tool for your guests. You should be, um, you know, posting about your guests and answering their questions and, and encouraging them to uh, post for you, post, um, post about their experiences, um, their challenges, all that stuff. You should be communicating back and forth. So that's why I think Snapchat is a great thing for a salon business is because you can communicate with every single guest and uh, use it just as your salon, your professional uh, Snapchat page, but allow that as a tool so that they can send you a, a, a quick message saying, hey, I'm having this challenge with my hair, and then you help them out. Or um, on Facebook, anything like that. Just make sure that you're communicating with, those, with your guests because once you start that conversation, it'll grow, it'll get bigger. People will uh, start to understand that that is what your social media is for, and uh, that'll help grow your business. So just look at it as a social thing. That's why they call it social media. Be social with your guests. So just finished editing the show from this morning, and uh, now we're just waiting for it to process. This is the not fun part of editing video, just watching it process. And then we get to post it and see what you think. So uh, let me know. Go watch Matt Beck Show, episode 22. Um, and let me know what you think. So now, real quick, we're gonna make the cover photo of the video. So what I do is I go through and I select the spot where I'm making the Basically the spot where I'm making not a ridiculous face, which is not very often. So find that spot, screenshot it. Then I uh, open it up on my desktop. <laughs> There's probably an easier way to do all this, but I don't know what it is. So open up the screenshot and then take and crop that photo. Because on YouTube, you want to make sure that you have an interesting uh, interesting photo at the front of your video. I guess it makes people watch it. So cropping that out. Now once I have that done, I open up Photoshop and I bring in the photo. And then... I have my font already ready. Boom, that's last episode. Change it to 22, and that is my cover photo. So I just save that, and then I can upload that as soon as the video process, and uh, makes it easy. 77% almost there. Not quite. And I just realized 
I have a meeting right now. Yeah, I'm doing great. I actually, um, so I've just been, I, I filmed three haircuts yesterday and um, uh, a bunch of other video content. So I've just been, ed I've been editing for uh, about seven hours. So, <laughs> all right, yeah. Yeah, exactly.